I'm here with Harvey Fishman. Harvey, you've done some really, really cool work uh, with IPL. Now, I, I very much want to talk about what, what you've done, but before we, we do, just sort of set the, 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 the stage. What, what is IPL generally used for? And uh, then we can talk about what, what, what you've done with it. IPL is a really neat technique which actually came out of the cosmetic world. And what's fascinating about uh, intense pulse light was that there was uh, a lot of work done where they looked at essentially patients who were doing better in dry eye with dry eye conditions who were going into the IPL clinic, not even ophthalmology clinic. And uh, a lot of the work that was done by Toya has actually found that, in fact, these dry eye patients were doing much better just with simple cosmetic uh, IPL. Now, uh, why? So one of the thoughts is that there are a variety of different mechanisms of dry eye disease, and many people know, and I don't think it's a surprise to say that dry eye disease is many diseases in one. And one of the things about, we, one of the key aspects of dry eye disease is actually Demodex and that infestation on the face. And one of the thoughts about why some of these patients are doing better is you're essentially eliminating Demodex better than any other technique. Because with the, the IPL device, you can actually get down to the root um, of the hair follicle, which is actually difficult to, to reach with other products, chemical um, and other devices that you use. Yeah, really, really interesting. Now, that when 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 people discuss this 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 technology, Demodex is is not typically the uh, first thing that that they that they that they talk about. What, what how is I don't want to ask how IPL is is marketed or really what the what the labeling is, but what what are most ophthalmologists thinking of when they're doing it? Because they're not thinking of Demodex. That's right. I think that there's sort of a generalized cons concern or condition where they look at inflammation in the eye, and there are a lot of interesting studies which show that the general inflammation as measured by the MMPs, the methylproteinases, that actually go down after IPL treatment. So they're looking at it as an anti-inflammatory treatment. Um, but one of the key mechanisms may in fact be eradication of Demodex. And that what's really fascinating is that when, and, you know, when, you, when you have your patient who has rosacea, ocular uh, myobobian gland dysfunction, and other conditions, uh, you know, this IPL is a very nice technique for, for approaching that type of a patient. And then you get this amazing dry eye uh, effect with that uh, select population. So Demodex is, um, is an easy thing to diagnose when it's florid. And it be, because it can be difficult to, to diagnose when it's more subtle, it becomes challenging to make a statement after treatment that you've actually done something. How do you know that this is treating Demodex? Well, one of the things that I've done in some of the research that I'm working on is that we actually do direct analysis of eyelashes with, uh, with video microscopy in, in my office. And so one of the ways you can, some of the traditional ways that people have looked at Demodex afterwards, that they've, they've actually done punch biopsies of the skin before and after, then they actually can show the coagula of necrosis of the uh, Demodex actually occurs. What we do in our office um, is we actually examine patients and we actually examine individual lashes and actually image live Demodex um, before and after treatment. And what we found, at least in some of the preliminary studies that I've done, is that the Demodex population significantly goes down. Now, we are always, we have, there's a commensurable flora of Demodex in our body. So it's not that some people have Demodex and others don't. We all have some level. Patients with dry eye disease, especially that ocular mybobian gland dys, uh, fun dysfunction type patient, they tend to have a very, very high level. And when I analyze lashes and I look at individual lashes, I will often see five, six uh, Demodex all humped together on a single uh, uh, core of the, of the eyelash. Yeah, really, really, really interesting stuff. Compelling work that you're doing, also cool. Uh, I think you know. I think that that's the the, the first time that I've used sort of cool and, and <laughs> demodex in the same phrase. Right. But it really is neat. Um, Harvey, I want to thank you very much for for, for for bringing this this neat topic to us, uh, for making it all so so clear, for being so very generous with your time with us today. Thank you very much. This was a pleasure.